Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be solving this question, the integral of x square tan inverse x upon 1 plus x square. We'll be solving it first by substitution and then by parts. So let's begin. So we know that the differentiation of tan inverse x with respect to x is 1 upon 1 plus x square. So if I keep tan inverse x as t, then dt by dx becomes 1 upon 1 plus x square and dt into 1 plus x square becomes dx. But before that, what we're going to do is, I'm going to write this as a separate fraction. So x square upon 1 plus x square into tan inverse x. This is the same thing as what we have above in the question. Now I'm going to be adding and subtracting 1. So now we can write this again as two separate fractions. So this becomes 1 plus x square upon 1 plus x square minus 1 upon 1 plus x square, the whole thing, into tan inverse x dx, which becomes integration of 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus x square into tan inverse x. Now I'm going to write this as two separate integrals. One becomes tan inverse x dx. And 1 becomes minus of tan inverse x dx upon 1 plus x square. Just expanding this. So this one we're going to be solving by parts. And this one we'll be solving by substitution. So let's name this i1 and let's name this i2. And our entire answer will be i, which is the difference of i1 and i2. So we have i1 wherein we have two terms, that is 1 and tan inverse x. Now the bypass rule, the formula is u into the integration of v dx minus the integration of differentiation of u into the integration of v dx. The Lyet rule helps us decide which term we should keep as u and which term we should keep as v based on which term is easier to integrate and which is easier to differentiate. So it gives us an order of preference for the u term. Now we have an algebraic term. 1 is like uh, x raised to 0, so it's an algebraic term. And we have an inverse trigonometric term. In the Lyet rule, inverse trigonometric comes before algebraic, which is why inverse trigonometric will be placed as the u term or the first term. And the algebraic term will be placed as the v term. So u is the inverse trigonometric term and v is 1. So now let's replace this in the formula. So we have u into the inverse trigonometric, sorry, u into the integration of v, which is 1 dx, minus the integration of differentiation of u into the integration of v. Integration of 1 with respect to x is x. So this becomes x tan inverse x minus 1 upon 1 plus x square into x dx. Now let's place 1 plus x square as g dg by dx becomes 2x because the differentiation of 1 is 0 and the differentiation of x square is 2x. So dg upon 2x becomes dx. x tan inverse x minus the integration of 1 by g into x into dg upon 2x. x gets cancelled and we can take 1 by 2 outside because it's a constant. And the integration of 1 by g with respect to g is log g. Now let's replace g with 1 plus x square. So this becomes x tan inverse x minus 1 by 2 log 1 plus x square. Which is again now I'm going to take 1 by 2 as the power. Because we have a log property like log m raised to n is basically n log m. So if I have something in the form of n log m, I will write it in the form of log m raised to n. So the final integral becomes x tan inverse x minus log root 1 plus x square. Because anything raised to half is the root. So this is i1. So moving on to i2, we have the integral of tan inverse x upon 1 plus x square dx. Now if I place tan inverse x as t, 
then dt by dx as we saw becomes 1 upon 1 plus x square and 1 plus x square into dt becomes dx. So we have t upon 1 plus x square into 1 plus x square dt. This gets cancelled and the integration of t raised to 1 dt is t raised to 1 plus 1 upon 1 plus 1 which is t square by 2. Substituting t with tan inverse x this becomes tan inverse x the whole square upon 2. This is i2. Now i was i1 minus i2. i1 was x tan inverse x minus log of root 1 plus x square i2 is tan inverse x upon 2 the whole square of tan inverse x. So our final integral i becomes x tan inverse x minus log root 1 plus x square minus tan inverse x the whole square upon 2 plus c and this is the final answer so that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye